And now what I'm going to want to set up here is my treasure hauling set. So we can go ahead and pick up this uh, treasure that I saw over here. I think this one's probably just a silver rupee. This is probably one of the few I actually remember offhand, off memory. Somewhere around here. I'm just going to guess like right here. Because I can faintly hear the sound happening. Yeah, I'm going to have to get my treasure charts out, aren't I? Oh, boy. Oh, here's one that I haven't opened. That's Shark Island. I'm not even sure where I got that one. Probably wasn't paying attention. Maybe it was from those three platforms from before with the whiz robes. Oh, here we go. Sail on over this direction. And that should be roughly good. Yeah, it sounds a lot louder now. You know, like a loud bird. He's not loud, he's just cocky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even the boat was kind of smirking there as he, as he like pulled up the thing. You rarely ever see that, like the boat smirk. I don't think he ever does that, like legitimately. It was just the weird camera angle that it was. Alright, and there's one more island that I want to sail to to finish off this recording. Because this is a crazy, I'm up to like an hour and 20 minutes on this recording. But uh, next up is the Eastern Fairy Island, which is, is it southwest of us or just south? Southwest, yeah. So I'll meet you guys there. You know what, no, I'm actually not going to meet you guys there. I'm going to... I'm gonna talk to you like a good LP does. How are you guys doing? Today is uh, June June 6th, maybe? Yeah, because it. Uh, yeah, because tomorrow's my French grad, and that's June 7th that we scheduled that for. That's gonna be pretty fun. I don't know. We only really got a class of 10 people in that, though. Only 10 people that suck it all the way through French immersion to the end, and it's just gonna be so silly. Because there's gonna be like less than 40 people at the grad, all total, with all our parents and stuff. Oh, and I'm actually speaking, because I'm the French valedictorian or something. But, uh, whatever, you probably don't even want to really hear about that. But, uh, how are you guys doing? I hope you're enjoying it. Sorry for the formality of these, like, past videos with the sea exploration stuff. I know it's been kind of just, like, standard formulas and stuff, like me just cutting to the next island, to the next island, to the next island, which is kind of part of why I want to leave this one in, this sailing trip, because, I mean, this is a part of the game, you know? And it's a pretty damn awesome part of the game, in my opinion. Might not be some people's cup of tea, but... I mean, we're already here. Oh, look, another treasure. That is so many treasures that we've already gotten in, like, re recording here. But what can I say? I'm gonna have to get all 49 of them eventually. Actually, there's not exactly 49 of, uh... I mean, there technically is, but not all of them are treasure charts, if that makes sense. It'll make more sense later on. Damn it, I missed it. Let's see here. No, I'm gonna figure this one out on my own. I think I think I might sail a little bit past it. I'm just gonna take random guesses until I get this though, so we'll see. Mm. Oh, that didn't take long. Not so long at all, and it's in the sunset and everything. That's cool. Perfect lighting, man. Perfect. Mm. Like stares at a bug eyed. Never really noticed that too much before. Come on, our piece. Ah, oh, that's fine too. I mean, 1,100 rupees, that's pretty staggering. It would have been nice to get this before I went to Windfall, because then I probably could have tackled another one of those auctions. Because I still got to get, I think I still have to get uh, another treasure chart and a heart piece at that auction. Actually, maybe I already got the heart piece. Maybe that's the one I got before. All I know is I still have two treasures. Hey, oh, hey, a Korok. forgot he was here. There should be a blue chew jelly somewhere around here, though. Under the tree. Yeah, there he is. Should have figured. I mean, just hanging out in the shade. That's what I would do. Right, yeah, you live today. Actually, no, you don't. Bye. <laughs> I love how they just don't, they like don't go away. Like normally when you hit a chew jelly, they just go flying across the screen or something. But those blue ones, they stay in spot. And I know it's like so that you don't accidentally hit them into the ocean and lose your blue chew jelly or something. That's why they do that, I think. But it's just still so funny to see them stand perfectly stationary, not abide by the conservation of energy at all. It's great. Well, I guess they do. Like, you can justify that by saying that chew jellies are sticky, but that's just gross. So. Regardless, here's a great fairy for us. A fairy fountain. Oh, God. She's like lavender on the bottom. That's cool. Actually, her whole body is sort of lavender heliotropish. 
And as you might imagine, since we needed uh, the bombs to get into this island, what she's going to do for us is... Your next contestant on the price is right, you're going to upgrade our bombs! To 60 now. 60, good lord. Can we only carry like 40 maximum in, uh, in the N64 games? And now we've got 60 on our first upgrade. And there is a second upgrade. Don't let that fool you. Oh my god. I forgot how insane this game was with, like, power-ups. Alright, and, uh, oh, you. See ya. Whatever. I don't need your ten rupees anyways. If anything, I'd like to get one rupee right now so I could have one, 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 one rupees total. So where is the fish for this island? I gotta find him first before anything, before I tackle that platform in the background. That platform. That platform. That's something weird I always say. Like, it's pronounced platform, but I, like, say platform most of the time. I like, plate foam? I don't know. Okay, here is Merman, uh, second last Merman this recording, actually, because I actually want to sort of end this recording off epically by getting the Merman thing for the Tower of the Gods directly south of us. You can see I did a nice little hook around from Star Island to the Tower of the Gods. That's what Planet Root will do for you. It'll end it off perfectly. Where it is, they hold an auction every night over there on Windfall Island. Every night, the people gather in the Hall of Wealth. Is that what it's called? Huh. Ah, the rich, yeah. The rich and me. And win. Yeah, I'm gonna and win those auctions, too. Just be both patient and bold, yeah. Which is easier said than done, I'm afraid. From what I hear, they get some of the great things up there on that auction block, too. Like heart-shaped stuff. Oh, you mean like a recovery heart? Yeah, that would be pretty awesome. Alright, sweet. And, uh, the only thing left in this square right now is this platform, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Can't make anything too special over here. I'm guessing we're just gonna get, like, a Boko Baba seed, if anything, for, as a reward from this platform, but better safe than sorry, am I right? Plus, these platforms are so awesome. So much fun to just take them all out. Okay, man, it's getting dark up in here, too. That's so weird how, like, if you, like, approach a platform at night time, I don't know if it's supposed to trigger that, but, like, it starts raining a lot of the time. Or, like, getting windy or just getting super dark or something like it's doing here. Alright, oh, you guys. I need to grind any more joy pens, so, uh, balls to you. Bam, man. Maybe I can grind telescopes off of you, though. <laughs> I hit him in the crotch and he just, fl he just went flying. That's gotta hurt. Mm, so there's nothing for those guys. Maybe it's just a uh, deal with the cannons now. I don't know why I'm singing the Tetris music. That's weird. I mean, I guess this could be sort of construed as Tetris, but you have to have a really fucked up mind, like mind, like mine, in order to think that. Didn't I call it Boko Baba Seed? It's a smiling Boko Baba Seed. That's great. They're great. Let's see if I can do this. Hut. Mm. Oh, man, I didn't realize where my boat was. I was trying to land in my boat. I've done that, like, once before in my life. Landed on the boat as you flip off those platforms. And, like I said here, I'm going to end things off rather nicely. So that I can segue into the next video rather nicely as well. By heading over to the Tower of the Gods and just getting that merman because we need him. I should have gotten him when I was here like the first time, I guess, but it all worked out better in the end anyways. God, this thing is so big. Like, seriously, you can actually pretty much see this tower, the Tower of the Gods, from anywhere in the Great Sea, except maybe like the extreme bottom left corner. Whoa. That was a little weird lighting thing as I approached, whatever. Yeah, except maybe like the extreme left bottom corner. That's probably the farthest area away from uh, the Tower of the Gods that you could get. And you might not be able to see it from there. What would that be? That would be Horseshoe Island, I think. Guess we'll do a little bit of a empirical test when we do that. I don't know, but for now, let's just shut up about all that and get this map fish data.
see what he got for me. I thought he was like too far away to get triggered by that, but apparently not. Works out. Who is my frat? Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm finally reading that. Good lord. Just give me this Tower of the Gods. It's gotta be a one big ass chart, right? Oh my god, yeah, it takes up the whole sector. What the hell? What's going on? I done a fish fortune on you, small fry, and from what I can tell, it looks like you've fated to come to this place many times. And the keys that control fate are none other than the lucky items known as the Triumph Forks. They're some sort of magical utensils. If you want to learn more about the Triumph Forks, talk to that guy Tingle. Really? Now, I know I may be only a fish, but my fortune telling is uncannily accurate. You better believe it, small fry. That's your pinky, that's your pinky sense, I guess. Or your bluey sense, as the case would be with you. And with that, I am going to have to end off this recording session. Recession. This recording recession. Yes, okay. <laughs> that's what I should do. I should call recording sessions to shorten that. Call them recessions. There you go. <laughs> So, um, yeah, and with this graceful little cliffhanger here, just outside of this big-ass door to the Tower of the Gods, and as the morning breaks, too, perfect. Thanks, everyone, for watching this recording. Hope you didn't mind the sea exploration too much. And, um, this is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you and good night.